Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Young and Restless delivered some decent drama this week. Thanks to Jack and Diane Split and Sharon framing Daniel, but there was still a lot of sleeping pills amongst the offerings. Keep reading this to the end for a reminder of how it used to be and who we wish it could be again. But first, a look at what happened and what's coming up. Jack and Diane are really selling this split, so we can't rule out the possibility that it's not a fake out. However, there are plenty of clues that suggest the highly publicized breakup is an elaborate farce designed to scare Kyle straight and beat Victor at his own game. Such as Diane going directly to Victor and Nikki to announce the end of her marriage. She was clearly trying to get the Black Knight to switch lanes by suggesting that Kyle failing would be a knife to Jack's heart. Should Victor fall for it, Jack and Diane's ruse would be successful on two fronts. First, Victor would set up Kyle to fail, thus severing their connection and sending him back to his family. And second, Victor would lose interest in attempting to use Glissade to beat Jebot, believing he's doing something even more devastating to his rival. This speculation leads me to question how far Jack and Diane will take their scheme to make it believable. Based on the preview for next week, with Nikki worrying about Jack's sobriety, it's obvious that Old Smilin' will pretend to fall off the wagon. Nikki will report back to Victor will be convinced that his rival's life is truly in ruins and that Diane's desire to plot against her husband is on the level. With all of that said, it's an unwritten rule on Young and Restless that Victor is 10 steps ahead of everyone else, so can they really expect to pull this off? Maybe it will all come to a head at Abby and Devin's wedding. Something has to go down at that event because it's a yawn waiting to happen at this point. Let me start by saying that the Sharon slash Daniel storyline is moving at just the right pace. The tease that Sharon might unravel and confess after Daniel's visit was a perfect beat to play. The con to this story is that it requires Chance to be the dumbed-down cop who can't see the forest for the trees. Any amateur detective could see that Daniel is being framed. Please, you can't even blame Phyllis for her exasperation. Speaking of Phyllis, the last person on planet Earth she ever wanted to team up with is Christine Cricket Blair. It's unthinkable. But that's exactly what's going to have to happen if they're going to help Daniel out of this mess. If you watch the preview for next week closely, you'll see that realization dawning in Red's eyes when Christine comes barreling into the club and announces she's there to represent Daniel. The icing on the cake. An unhinged Sharon is going to be gunning for Phyllis at the same time she's trying to navigate life with the bug as her new sidekick. Now that's a juicy plot. But there's more. Phyllis has another unlikely ally and we never thought we'd see the day these two would be on the same side either. I got a kick out of Lily telling Mickey she wouldn't be able to run Chancellor on her own like she could. I'm intrigued to find out what Amy Lewis wants with Nate. My hunch? He has a half-sibling, and there's something they want to ask of him. Overall, the show remains lacking in big drama, and too often gets dragged down into the mundane. Here's a flashback to the days when it never would have entered our minds to hit the fast-forward button. Epic, indeed. The opinions expressed are my own. Please feel free to share your thoughts on this week's Young and Restless in the comments. In the quaint little town of Willowbrook, where the sunflowers swayed gently in the breeze and the aroma of freshly baked bread wafted through the air, two friends, Phyllis and Christine, embarked on a mission. Their goal? To help their friend Daniel, who was struggling with his recent art project. Little did they know that this journey would not only bring them closer to Daniel, but also spark a wave of creativity that would transform their community. Daniel was a talented artist, known for his vibrant paintings that captured the essence of Willowbrook. However, he was facing a creative block. The deadline for an upcoming exhibition loomed over him like a dark cloud, and he felt increasingly isolated and uninspired. Phyllis, an elementary school art teacher, and Christine, a graphic designer, were determined to help him break through this barrier. One afternoon, while sipping tea on Phyllis's porch, Christine brought up the idea. What if we brainstorm ideas together? Sometimes, just talking through things can spark inspiration. I love that. We could turn it into a little art retreat, Phyllis suggested. A weekend getaway where we focus on creativity. Daniel, who had been invited to join them, hesitated. I don't want to be a burden. You both have your own projects. Nonsense. We want to help you, Christine replied her eyes shining with enthusiasm. Think of it as a collaboration. We'll all create something special together. 
That weekend, they headed to a cozy cabin on the outskirts of Willowbrook, surrounded by the calming sounds of nature. The plan was simple. Relax, create, and inspire each other. As they settled in, Phyllis set up an art station with supplies ranging from canvases and paints to charcoal and pastels. Christine arranged the digital corner with her laptop, ready to create mood boards and visual prompts. Let's start with some free drawing, Phyllis suggested. No pressure, just let your hand move. They each took the canvas, and as Daniel began to sketch, something magical happened. The act of creating alongside his friends reignited a spark within him. Christine's playful doodles mingled with Phyllis's intricate designs, and soon, Daniel found himself inspired by their energy. Look at this, Christine exclaimed, holding up her sketch of a whimsical tree that seemed to dance in the wind. We should do a mural of Willowbrook's spirit. Absolutely. Let's incorporate our ideas. Flowers, the town square, everything that makes this place unique. Daniel said, a newfound excitement bubbling within him. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow around them, they began to brainstorm what their mural would look like. The vision grew more vibrant with every passing hour. Let's include the sunflower fields, Phyllis suggested. They're iconic around here. And the old bookstore, Christine added. It's such a gem in our town. Daniel began sketching a rough layout, merging their ideas into a cohesive design. The trio collaborated effortlessly, each bringing their unique flair to the project. The mural became a representation of their friendship and love for Willowbrook. However, not all was smooth sailing. As they dove deeper into the project, they encountered challenges. Daniel, still wrestling with his self-doubt, began to feel overwhelmed again. What if I mess it up? What if it doesn't turn out how I envision? He confessed one evening, frustration creeping into his voice. Phyllis, sensing his distress, sat beside him. Remember, Daniel, art isn't about perfection. It's about expression. We're here to support each other, no matter what. Christine chimed in. Think of it this way. Mistakes can lead to unexpected creativity. Embrace them. With renewed determination, they pressed on, transforming their fears into fuel for creativity. They painted with laughter, shared stories, and supported each other through moments of doubt. Days turned into nights as they poured their hearts into the mural. It became a tapestry of colors and stories, intertwining their experiences and memories of Willowbrook. As they neared completion, the excitement in the air was palpable. The mural had grown beyond their initial concept. It was now a reflection of their journey together. It embodied friendship, resilience, and the beauty of collaboration. When the final stroke was laid, they stood back to admire their work. The mural burst with life, a kaleidoscope of sunflowers, the quaint town square, and whimsical creatures that danced through the scenery. The day of the mural unveiling arrived, and the community gathered to see what the trio had created. As they pulled back the tarp, gasps of awe filled the air. Phyllis, Christine, and Daniel beamed with pride. The mural became a symbol of community spirit, inspiring others to embrace their creativity. It encouraged local artists to showcase their work, leading to art walks and workshops that breathed new life into Willowbrook. In the months that followed, Daniel found himself thriving creatively. With the support of Phyllis and Christine, he not only finished the exhibition piece, but also discovered new passions, experimenting with different mediums and styles. The mural, too, became a canvas for collaboration. Locals contributed their own art, making it a living, evolving masterpiece. It sparked connections among residents, reminding them of the importance of creativity and community. Phyllis and Christine had set out to help their friend, but in the process, they had woven a rich tapestry of inspiration that enveloped the town. They realized that sometimes, all it takes is a little support and collaboration to unlock the doors of creativity. As the sun set over Willowbrook, the vibrant mural stood as a testament to the power of friendship and the magic of artistic expression, inspiring future generations to embrace their own creativity.